Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Zurich Car Show. Today we are taking a look at the new Citroen C4X. So this is the all new model from Citroen. It actually sits between the C4 hatchback and the C5X, which is the flagship model. Now, this is the new model that has 4.6 meters and it's got the very unusual design. So let's start here on the front where you will notice the LED lights, data mining LEDs with the Y shape and the main units are here. Split headlamps design, which we also saw on the other new Citroen models. The chrome line goes all the way from this section up to the other one, emphasizes the width of the car. Also the Chevron is integrated into the grille itself. You also see the front view camera. And I quite like the attention to details here. For example, this is a very similar pattern to the chevrons. And this white color goes very well with those uh, black and plastic elements. And here is where you can see uh, the color pack options. So this is gray, but you can customize this in the color pack. So you will have this in different color and also the section of the air bump. Moving on to the side, 4.6 meters, once again, is the length of this model and you see a very attractive design. So like the fastback coupe style of the roof, but also very robust since it's a crossover and you see the robust wheel arches and the 18 inch wheels on the model in our video, 195 60 R18. That's the dimension of the tires. And uh, I love the fact that we have the dual tone gloss black and silver finish. Now I can show you this detail here, you see, matching color with the element on the front you see also here the badge this is the all electric model so the EC4X and I will talk about the specs and powertrain options a bit later on but now let me show you the side profile there we go look at the coupe style of the roof line and from the rear this is where it gets interesting look at this very unique appearance on the road the lights are actually huge. Look at this. They go all the way up to here. So that's quite cool. And also by this design, they allowed a big opening for the trunk. So you see the tailgate actually has the large and wide opening. And uh, this is how it looks from this angle. Very clean design, no fake exhaust, obviously, as we have the electric model in our video. I quite like this lower section with those elements here tell me in the comments how do you like it this is the rear view camera and now we can open the trunk tailgate there we go so this is a four-door car and you see this is very large square shape 510 liters of space so that's a lot additional room in here and you see it's pretty deep so a lot of luggage will fit inside EC4X so the electric model and now we are ready to explore the interior before that let me show you the charging port there we go but now off to the interior so very nice and the beautiful advanced comfort seats uh, which are so good actually uh, drove various Citroen models equipped with those seats and uh, you can really drive for hours without getting tired. Now here, look at the pattern and uh, switches for the windows and the mirrors. Door pocket has sort of like the two sections here for the bottle. And uh, yeah, well, the massage is also here, I believe. And uh, here are the adjustments for the seat but without further ado let's jump on board and see it from driver's perspective starting with a wider view steering wheel with the flat bottom and this large section here the digital cockpit in front of the driver 10 inch display in the middle and this is the central console let's see it from different view and there we go now with a different view new infotainment system i will go through the details in a moment but let's just explore the other things and switches here for example one thing that i really love is the fact that the ac is on this classic switches so uh, you adjust the air blower on this one and then here is where you can adjust 
the temperature so it's a big thumb up from me because that's the easiest way to do it usb ports usb c and usb wireless charging for your phone additional storage room speaking about storage areas a lot of them around 39 liters in total throughout the cabin so that's really really impressive i will show you uh, other ones as well 12 volt power supply this is the minimalistic gear selector drive neutral reverse park and this you press it and then the car recuperates the energy drive mode this car has the three driving modes sport normal eco roller is here for the cup holders and i love the design but i'm not so sure about this gloss black finish and it will get fingerprints so you will need to clean it all the time additional storage area you can also extend this middle armrest and now we come to a very interesting part for example look at this storage area number one and you have the holder for the tablet and also this is where you have additional storage room so that's really impressive the amount of storage areas really really good now the infotainment system so this is your home screen and good news is that you can configure the home screen based on what you want so the idea is to have similar layout to the mobile phone look at this for example this is what i configured for example uh, the widgets are configured by myself same goes for this so the idea is uh, that you go to just a second so you go to settings and now here you can go to the customization now customize touch screen you see three pages are here you can add another page there we go now here is where you can put various things let's say you want i don't know settings and uh, advanced driver assist systems application drawer climate and uh, i don't know energy flow maybe there we go go back it will ask you if you want to save it yes we do and now you have the additional screen here so uh you see this is the screen that we actually did so you see fourth page is this and uh, the same goes for the digital cockpit which can also be configured so you just go to display customization customize driver cockpit and now you see different views are available so that was the digital cockpit let's go back and uh, you also have the shortcut here for the driver assist systems this car is packed with technology so you see the systems are here and then you can adjust what you want and how you want them to work let's go back to the home menu settings this car also has the option to change the screen color tell me in the comments what is your favorite I will put the blue one now also the navigation has got a very nice view you see the 3d shape of the buildings and now I showed you most of the infotainment system let me also show you those lights there we go sun visor nice LEDs also on the other side as well and the panoramic sunroof looks very nice indeed and uh, yeah that's it now let's see it from the back we can actually open the sunroof so let's do it that's nice
2 meters, 67 is the wheelbase. And now let's enter. You see the tinted windows. And uh, here the same pattern as on the front. Let's sit here. There we go. This is really comfortable. View on the front. Here you have two USB ports and the air vents. And in the middle, there is sort of like the cup holders, but they are not adjustable. And here maybe you can put a pencil or some small element. Additional storage room in here. Now let me show you the situation for my head. And this is the situation. So look at this, just about right for my head. I'm on meter 87 and uh, this is how it looks. So we do have the coupe style of the roof, but I'm really impressed because there is actually quite a lot of room here. So that's a thumb up. It is now time to check under the bonnet. So we do this. You need to pull this. And there we go. We do not have hydraulic strut, so I'll be back with you in a moment. And this is, as I already told you, the electric version, 136 horsepower electric motor on the front axle. But also there are other options for this car. So this car will be available with pure tech petrol engines, but also with the diesel engine in some of the markets. So a lot to choose from pure tech, 100 and 130 horsepower and diesel 130 horsepower as well. Tell me in the comments what would be your choice of powertrain for this car. And now we will check out the spec list and see the price and also the details here. So the electric version, shine package, 100% electric, 136 PS and 260 Newton meters of torque. Of course, automatic transmission, 18 inch wheels. This is the price for the electric shine. And here you have extras on this car for the special white paint and uh, other things. That gives you a total price in Switzerland, which is here. And uh, you also see the specs here and the weight of the vehicle. Speaking about the range, it's up to 360 kilometers by WLTP standard and DC charging 100 kilowatts. And I will now do a walk around with the lights and indicators turned on. So you see it very impressive with the split headlamp design look at this this is the led indicator main units share your thoughts with me how do you like it and we have them also here on the wing mirrors and this is how it looks from the rear all right guys and that's it thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe to the channel as there will be plenty of more to come on the channel that's it for now. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.